Hey guys, Scope CX, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2, and it is on a Thanksgiving. So yes, happy Thanksgiving to everybody in America. We have that common mission. It is a speed run, and it's not as bad as the first mission was. But yeah, we don't have to worry about silver stars this time, so thank goodness for that. And it is Thanksgiving, I've gotten home. Um, I'm not going to Black Friday this year. I do not want to go to Black Friday, but here we go. Tox box, speed run. Those are what the um the boxes that are flipping around. Like you can see them right now. And there are timers in this mission, so if you can de if you can help it, definitely go and pick those up. And I've got a couple of good ways to get some of these timers. And we have 20 seconds. I'm just gonna long jump back over here. It's like, if the camera to please change, I don't like that angle it gives you. There's a one-up down there. Ah, can I make it over here? Yes, I can. Awesome. Ah, oh, man. Messed up right here. Yeah, I'm, I'm already not doing good at this. I can tell that this is not going to be fun. Oh, boy. Man, just pick up as many timers as you can. That was failure. Ah, I didn't spin at the right time, did I? But hey, stuff happens. Alright. Oh, man. I kind of jumped there a little bit too late. I have to admit that. Alright, so we come back over here for this one. Come back over here. Camera change. I like that angle change right there. It's so much better. Alright. Then we just long jump across here. Oh, man. Alright, another couple of seconds. Ah, boy. That was close. Alright, another 30 seconds. And I have 37 seconds right now. So I'm definitely making it through this pretty well. Yeah, just wait for this one to go by. I'm just gonna wait right here. Listen, I'm not taking any chances on this mission. There should be another timer right here. That's really appreciated. Oh boy, no, no, <laughs> you're kidding me. Gosh darn it. Of course something like that would happen to me. It would, wouldn't it? Alright, I can do this. This is. I almost had that. Just for that, like, changing part at the end there. Alright. It's a good idea to know where the timers are for all these missions. Oh uh, boy. Oh boy. Um, I may want to wait for him to come back over. Alright, let's grab the one up. You see, I could be here for a while. Let's just hope it doesn't take too long. Alright, gotta wait for this guy to go back. Ooh, man, I'm actually doing a little bit worse than I was last time. Oh, that's so close. That was close. That was. Oh man. I don't even think you actually need the long jump there. You could just go for the regular jump and a spin. But I just like long jump better. It's safer. Alright. Uh, the timer's right here, so that's pretty good. Actually, oh, that was that was really close. Yeah, I'll be able to get up here and get this timer here. 28, 38. Gotta wait for this guy to go back. Oh boy, that was close. Alright, so I'm right here just waiting. But yeah, my Thanksgiving was pretty good. Um, we just did family stuff, you know, how Thanksgiving is normally. But um, actually, my uncle, he was starting us. Uh, the Thanksgiving prayer saying that like 
I was watching George Lopez one night, and it's like, he's talking about how George Lopez, the show, was so, like, it wasn't like normal reality shows where, but it, like how it actually touched on real issues, and I thought it was kind of weird, I was like, you're talking about a TV show in your uh, Thanksgiving prayer, that's kind of weird, but whatever. My family's kind of, my family's fun, I like my family. But we're finally done with the Stoner Cyclone Galaxy. Thank goodness. That mission didn't take all that long, really. But now this next galaxy. This next galaxy is actually pretty fun, I have to admit. Uh, it's, it's, an, it's definitely a nice change of pace from Stoner Cyclone. And it looks like a giant crown, but the galaxy is not a giant crown, believe me. This is the Boss Blitz Galaxy. And no, it is not Galaxy 2 bosses, which would be kind of interesting. But it's Galaxy 1 bosses with a throwback throwdown. So yeah, this is fun. This is definitely a fun mission. I think it's a lot of fun. But you can't... Yeah, it's like this world is just... The world has it just nothing but ripoffs. So we're starting over here with the original, di the original Dino Piranha. And so basically with this one... What you have to do, go through his tail, spin the little thing in the end, and then it cracks the egg. And then we just go around him, shake him in the tail, he looks back as his tail's about to hit him. And he's red. Well you can definitely tell that the Dino Piranha and Pee Wee Piranha are related, and really this boss should take you no time at all. At all. It's just that ridiculously easy. I mean, look at that. It, it was within like 20 seconds or something. I don't know. But yeah, grabbing as many Star Wars as you can is not a bad idea. So then over here we have uh, King Caliente, and he is the father of Prince Vacante, in my, in my opinion. But before you want to do that, you're actually going to want to go to the underside of the planet for the common metal and a free life shroom. So that is always appreciated, okay. Alright, there's the common metal. That one can be a little bit tricky to get just because it's a, a jump, okay? That was weird. Ah, there we go. This guy, all he does is just shoot little molten fireballs at you. Which are really easy to avoid, and then he's just gonna play a game of tennis with us. By shooting a coconut back and forth. He loses his crown, he gets angry. But then again, one more of our bosses don't get angry. Oh, and he goes underwater. Uh, under the lava, I guess you could say. He actually launches the coconut, or the melon, I guess. The first thing. And I didn't get burned there, thank goodness. Because you can get burned with by the little mini guys. Oh, we have major burrows. This battle's not as fun. Yep, there he is. He's a giant mole with a blue shell on his head. So what you gotta do to start this battle is wait for him to go up, then grab him and spin him, and then that'll trigger his cutscene. And here he goes with here we go with Major Burrows. What he's gonna do is he's gonna follow behind us. Uh, there he is. Gotta wait for him to pop up out of the ground, and then oh man that was close. But you have to run up behind him and spin him. I'm not sure if the tail is the only spot. And then he goes for this hit. He's a lot faster this time, so just be careful of that. Alright, where's he coming from? Oh. Ow. He suck. Let's grab our coin here really quick. Alright, ground pound, and then he's gonna come back even faster. And then he's... I think he actually runs a little bit faster here, but still not a big problem. And he just poofs. And then we get another uh, launch star. I almost said warp star again. Oh my gosh. Strap Luma there just in case you need it. And this is possibly my favorite boss from this entire mission. No, it is. This is Boulder Guys. He's pretty much a rocky ghost. And um, you can actually take your star bits and you have to look out for the black rocks. And what you can do, you need to spin when you're by the black one, the black ghosts. You can actually spin to destroy these rocks too. 
Alright, um. Oh, sweet, there's another one right here. And, um, the gold rocks give you coins. Oh, that was close. Alright. Where are you, black ghost? These are actually called bamboos. And now he's just gonna be like this kind of. Oh, you can also shoot the weird mode a little bit too, um. Like, give it a little bit of a boost, but he's gonna come back. And he's gonna get these hands. And that's my favorite track from this boss fight. Here it comes. Da 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 well, that is your loss. I don't know why I am singing right now, but it's fun. I am enjoying this by far I a lot. I do not know any more words that I can sing, but whatever. I lost my shroom. That is not cool. That is my fun. Here comes the end. Even bolder guys. I do not know what I am saying anymore. The drummer in the background is really cool. And there he is. He's dead. Yeah, enough with my singing. Get out of here, singer. I, I, obviously I am not a singer. But whatever. I just love that rhythm when it gets fast. That is my favorite rhythm from this whole game. And there's a pointless planet in between this and the next boss, which I do not understand. So this is a fiery di dino piranha. It's kind of a tongue twister. So basically what you gotta do for this guy, wait for his tail to go out. Um, yeah, because his tail is going to be on fire. And come on, if I could just hit it and start the boss fight. There we go. So anyway, he's going to have an awesome color swap, honestly. This is a really cool color swap. Ah, dang it. No. No! Alright, come on. Alright, I seriously kind of... My Wiimo kind of stopped working there for a second. Yeah, chase after me, buddy. Oh, there we go. That was good. Now he's going to get mad, and he's actually going to be a little bit harder now. Because he will actually shoot fireballs, I think, in this form. There we go. Alright, maybe in the next... Yeah, this next part, he's gonna actually start shooting fireballs. Eh. Okay, we're gonna have to catch him up somewhere. Oh, come on! This is my least favorite part of this fight. Alright, come on. Oh my gosh, I, I think he has to see me again. There we go. Oh, there we go. Finally. And this is actually a pretty fun mission, in my opinion. I just like going through all the bosses in Bouldergeist. Bouldergeist is easily my favorite boss from this entire mission. Oh my gosh. But Thanksgiving with stars. Oh, and there's actually a real... This star is kind of weird. Because there's a rainbow ring right there. But anyway, I'm just, I'm just wasting time now. If I can ever grab the star, I'd get out of here. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't grab the star right there. That was really weird. But, there you have it. There is the first, um, mission for... Oh, we're on the bottom here, aren't we? Crap, I might not have time for this. Alright, come on, I've only got a minute left. Alright, come on. Come on! Alright, we've got the path. And now Lubba's gonna talk to us. We got a green Luma on board the ship. He's got some interesting tales. But I'm going to have to do that in the next episode, so I will see you guys later.